Hey, what's going on guys? Out from Plamax here, we have the latest model kit, Ray Ayanami. This is a part of their line of basically model kit figures that you can make. So basically like this is what you would normally get as like a PVC prize figure or something, but now it's available in model kit form and it's really, really cool. So we've taken a look at a number of these before from the Evangelion line, specifically uh, Mari and Asuka we took a look at in past reviews, so you can go back and check those out. But today, let's go ahead and check out Ayanami Re. All right, so for the front of the box here, like we've seen with the rest of the line, we have some pretty simple box art there with all of our titling and then just basically a large image here, a large photograph of the painted kit, which does look really quite nice. On the ends of the box, it's going to be basically the same thing there. And then here on the side, you can see we just have this large vertical image and the same thing on the other side, just of a different angle. And on the bottom there as well, the same thing like that. On the back side of the box is where we have some more full images of the painted kit there, front and back, and this large image here, which I believe is close to one to one size to the actual kit. And then down here, a close up detail image of the face and some of the parts, how it is going to be completely molded in all of our nice coloring there. It's probably going to be missing some small color apps, but for the most part, it is going to be molded in pretty much all of the correct colors, and the face is also going to be pre-printed as well, which is very nice. But let's go ahead and check out the contents inside. Got all of our runners there, as well as an advertisement here for some Gaia Notes Evangelion color series. Here we've got some colors that will go specifically for this kit here of Ayanami Rei, and there you can see the long-haired version of this kit, which is also available there as well. And for our instructions, it's going to be looking very much like the box there on the front. On the back side is just the conclusion of the construction. Actually, if we just kind of come around here and that's the conclusion of the construction. So there's not a whole lot of frills here in the manual. We just have our parts list and construction, which is all in full color there, which is nice. But that's pretty much it. Not really too much else to see here, but you can kind of get a sense of how the construction is going to look here for this kit. Looks like we're building the head last. And that's it. But all right, let's check out the runners here. We're starting off with runners A and B, which is going to be all of our white parts here for the body. And you'll notice we do have the 00, zero pre-printed there on the front of the chest of the suit there as well. Very nice. Runners C and D then is going to be some black parts here for the kit. Again, adding a lot of really nice detail on this one. And then we've got all of these smaller runners here. Runner E is going to be our red parts. Runner F is going to be some orange parts here. Runner G is going to be some light blue parts here for the inside of the hands. Runner H, a couple of green parts there for the suit. Runners I and J, the only skin tone color parts that we have, one for the head and then one for the face. There's that pre-printed face part, which does look really nice, I have to say. And then also in light blue here, runner K is going to be our parts for the hair. Lastly then, a runner M is going to be our base plate part here in black. And that's it. Let's go ahead and get it all put together. All right, and here is how the kit is going to look once all put together. It looks very nice. The color separation and details are all really, really good. And just to give you guys a sense of the overall height, she's coming up to a little bit more than 20, almost 21 centimeters in height. Or for those of you guys who insist on being American in your measuring system, is about eight inches tall. But yeah, again, there's no stickers or anything. So we have the pre-printed eyes and mouth there and the pre-printed number there on the chest. But otherwise, it's all color separated parts. The little red parts there, red parts up around the neck, the yellow parts there on the shoulders. Here on the back, that's a separate black piece that fits inside there for the zero and the little vents there on like the little backpack. And then even on the hands, you have the little separate yellow parts and separate blue parts for the inside of the palms of the suit there, which all look really great. And if you're sensing a butt coming, that's because there is a butt coming. And I do kind of have the same issue with this kit as I have had with the rest of the line previously, is that although we have a lot of nice color separation, the fit is not perfect. I mean, all the parts fit together well enough, but take this part here for the hand. As you can see, the blue part and the white part are like kind of coming apart here. And so you're probably gonna to wanna to glue some of these parts here at the hips too. You can see like if I press these parts together, that gap uh, disappears. But if I just kind of let it sit there, there's like an odd gap. The parts don't fit like really super tightly. So even though this is a snap fit kit, you can tell that this is designed to be glued and modeled a bit more extensively, like here the arm's now falling off. Yeah, you can tell that it's made to be uh, modeled a bit more than just snapped together, but this is where it's kind of odd for me. Because the color separation is so good, it seems like it's the kind of model that 
you know, you can just build it up and it's gonna look great straight out of the box and not really necessarily intended like a Gunpla. Gunpla is not necessarily intended to be painted because it doesn't need to be painted because the color molding of it is so good. Of course, you can paint it to make it look better. And that's kind of the sense that I get of generally what is the goal of this line as well. But in that case, the fit needs to be a little bit better because if you're not planning on painting it, at least the fit should be good and tight and you shouldn't see seam lines. I mean, there's going to be seam lines, but they shouldn't be quite so obvious if the fit like Kotobukiya's kits uh, they have seams like this all the time, but the fit is so good and so tight that you, the, the seam lines are honestly a lot of the times hard to notice. So anyway, it's a bit odd and, and not really that big of a deal. Like I said, basically I think that you're just made meant to uh, glue a lot of this. And I think that again, if I had to guess kind of what's the ultimate goal of this, are these like meant to be painted or are they meant to be like just kits that look good unpainted. I guess it's both, but if you're not planning on painting, I would definitely recommend at least gluing everything because then at least everything's staying together as tightly as possible. You're not having parts just kind of loosening up on you over time. But as we can essentially begin to wrap up the review here, I will just reiterate that I absolutely love this line for no other reason other than basically it gives us some nice figures that we can uh, paint as just you know fixed pose statues essentially and otherwise the options are you know just like pvc figures that you would get from like a prize grabber or ufo machine kind of figures or the more expensive variety or resin garage kits which are very expensive so the reason that i really like this line from max factory is just the fact that it gives us models that we can build and paint for people that want to build and paint, if you don't want to build, then you know you can just get figures, statue figures. But if you do want to build and paint, the only really other option is garage kits, which can be very expensive and require more work. These are basically very easy, like uh, easy mode um, model kits of uh, you know statue figures of anime characters that you can build. Plastics, and, you know, whether plastic or resin is easier to work with. I mean, people have their disagreements on that. Uh, for me, plastic is easier to work with. You also don't have to worry about pinning parts. Everything like already color separated on this the color separation is really nice so in theory i really like the this line i wish that bandai would someday get back to making model kits like this as a part of their figureized labo line they only made a, a handful of kits out in that line and i really enjoyed them i wish they would make more just for the same reason because it's nice to have figures like this that you can build yourself that you can paint it's nice and comfortable to work in plastic and so it's a cool concept but just know what you're getting yourself into like i said if you wanted to get this and you don't want to paint or do anything else with it i would recommend just gluing some of the parts otherwise if you want to put in a bit more work into it and like fully paint it it's going to look amazing it's going to look fantastic the pose the proportions the design the details everything looks great on these so it's absolutely a line that i would recommend to you guys but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and as always guys if you want to check out some of these for yourself you can check the link in the video description to usa gundam store we've got these and everything else from max factory as well all the moderoid model kits and everything else so check out that link and as always thank you so much for all of your support to leaving a like making sure that you're subscribed i really appreciate it until next time hope you all have a great day and i'll see you guys later bye, -bye.